Michael is in Oklahoma. Hey, Michael, how are you? Hi, Mr. Ramsey. I'm doing better than I deserve. How about Good. yourself? Just the same, sir. How can we help? Um, well, I, I've been listening to you, uh, you know, your little mini shows on YouTube for the past uh, about two months. Um, came a little late to me. Um, I'm 26. The uh, In February, I started looking for a vehicle, a more dependable vehicle. And my brother's a car salesman. Um, you know, I went in there with a budget and uh, came out with a, a car. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah, I found a truck I liked. Um, it was outside my budget. I left. I come back the next day. Uh, my dad and brother have a surprise for me. They went ahead and got it. And my dad did it under his, um, you know, took a loan under his name. And so now I'm obligated to pay it. And uh, it's way out of, it's $200 over what my budget was originally. And I'm. it's making me bleed like a pig. Yeah. Well, thanks, Dad. Wow. Uh, yeah, so well, think, when you're selling it. Uh, and, the, I, you know, I, I want to sell it. I think that's what I need to do. Yeah. Uh, it came from a place of love, and I think he wanted me in a nicer vehicle. Um, but it's it, it's just not working out for me, you yeah. know. Well, okay. The, uh, so, I, you know, that the answer is to sell it. And, uh. I, I had one more question if you have time real quick. Um, I'm, I'm a diesel mechanic here in, in Oklahoma. And uh, are you there, Mr. Yeah, Andy? yeah, we're here. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, guys. And uh, I'm working for uh, my boss, and I've been working for him going on two years and, uh, you know, haven't had a pay raise. So I'm, I'm making $12 an hour as a diesel mechanic. And uh, – how do I approach him about, you know, that, yeah. that um, aspect? Are, of, have you got any of the certifications as a diesel mechanic, or you just been working there with him? Yes, sir. No, uh, I was in the Navy previously. I was mm -hmm. an aviation structural mechanic. Mm -hmm. And before that, I went through in high school and uh, went through Votech and got all my ASD certs. Sounds awfully cheap, $12 an hour. Like way yes, cheap. And, uh, What's that? I mean, what, I mean, I think I know these guys making sixty or eighty grand with what you're doing, don't you? Uh, yeah, the ones out in the oil field are making a lot of money. They're making more than that in the oil field. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I'm talking about and, just a straight up diesel mechanic, you know, plus or minus some overtime, anywhere from sixty to ninety is the ones we're running into. Yeah. Chris, Michael, do you have any uh, uh, openings? Have you done any research on other availabilities in that in that market? A bunch of Indeed, and, um, you know, I, there's, there's openings. Mm -hmm. um, it's, uh, it's, I just stay so busy, that I, and, and my budget is so tight that if I take a day off, you know, I'm shooting myself in the foot. So it, it, it's kind of like a, I can't afford to do it, but I can't afford not to do it. And uh, Okay, have you investigated what the openings are paying, Michael? Uh, I mean, they're starting out at 15 an hour, you know. So, I mean, they're they're starting out more than where, you know. Which just is the basic still low. Mm -hmm. That's still low. Yeah. I would say this, buddy. Here, Here's the thing. We got to get your confidence back. So, first of all, let's get rid of this truck. Uh, let's get go find out exactly what the payoff is for a 30-day period. Uh, go look up on Kelly Blue Book. Get intentional about getting this thing out of the life. Uh, go ahead and have the conversation with your dad and let him know, hey, this is not something you can afford, point blank, and don't go backwards there. Uh, the other thing I'd do is I'd go sit down with your employer. Let's be adults. Be straight and talk about, hey, this is where I am. This is what I'm striving to do. What more do I need to show you? What can I do? But, Dave, I think he's got a here's – four, Here's four job offers in the open market that pay 15 to $20 an hour. Yeah. And you're paying me 12 And I'm not threatening you. I'm just saying, what have I got to do to be worth that to you? Uh, so Because I don't really want to look elsewhere. Boom. And if someone comes in and sits down with me as the owner of this company and says, hey, you know, I, I do this for you, and uh, there's a whole lot of people paying a lot more than that, um, I mean, I may say, well, you probably ought to go talk to them, or I might say, uh, 
gosh, I, I guess I'm underpaying. Let's look right. at it. Right. You know, and we'll do a little compensation study. We do regular compensation studies around here, but a lot of small businesses don't do that, and they just overlook it. And then they look up and they lose somebody good because they didn't have a conversation. Well, and Dave, the other side of it is is that you have the person that's on the team that's having this feeling that never outwardly communicates it, so yeah. they never give the person a chance. But don't bring, don't come in and say, "I think I'm worth more money." No, or come demanding. And come don't. and don't be belligerent, but no. come in and go, "Hey, look, here's three things in the paper right. that are paying fifteen dollars, and here's one that's seventeen, here's one that's twenty, and you know this is what's out there, and it just feels like twelve is not the market anymore." And I, tell me what I'm doing wrong that it, or what I need to do more to get to be worth this. what those are paying because I don't really want to answer any of these ads. I like being here. Boom. And that's a, you know, somebody does that with me as the employer. I don't, they don't get any shame from me. They go, oh, I'm, it may be a wake-up call. It might be, I go, you know what? We just don't have it in the budget to do that. If you can get that, you probably ought to go do it. That's right. That's what's good for you. I might, I've told people that too, but, uh, and you might hear that. He might be going, $12 it, dude. Um, and, and then, but at least you can get it out there and you, that's how you approach them. You approach them with mm-hmm. evidence and with humility mm-hmm. and with open communication. And then that no, no, and if an employer does not react well to those things, uh, and, and is inappropriate or angry or something, then that means they're a jerk. Yeah. It doesn't mean you did it wrong. But let's get your headspace back. Cause so many people will play this over and over in their head instead of verbalizing it outward. Uh, be proactive.